My name is Dixon MBI. Um, I'm from East London and I'm dancing with Russell Marathon Company. My background in dance started um, 2005. I started as a street dancer. I still do street dancing. Popping was the style I started with. And then I went to Lewisham College to learn contemporary dance. And then I went to the place, the only contemporary dance school. And then from there, Russell um, asked me to join his company. Russell brings in so many different influences. Um, we know he trained at Royal Ballet School and uh, he uses everything from capoeira, from flamenco, from contemporary dance, from ballet. And, and it's, it's great that he has a lot of information about all these different techniques and working with him, I get to tap into those things, you know, it's great. The piece I'm performing is called Still. It's a duet with me and Karis, but it's also it's a third party, which is the light. It's another fourth party, which is the music. And then it's the whole thing on stage, you know, and, and then there's you, the audience. So it's, it's kind of like a quintet, if you think about it. The relationship between me and Karis is very interesting on stage because we know each other so well. Even if we don't practice or dance together for a long time, we still have that connection. It's an interesting thing. That's why I love about dancing, because, you know, it's like when you see an old friend and you've not seen them for a long time, but when you see them, it's like he never was away. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like that with Karis. So when I'm performing or when I'm on stage, I feel, I feel alive. I'm not me. Of course, you know I'm Dixon, but it's something else. Um, it's an ancestral thing to me. It's a connection to the inner spirit. You just surrender to, to the stage and then he leads you, he takes you somewhere else. It's more like a, a ritual. And that's what dance is at the beginning, I guess. You know, it was all about rituals and stuff like that before he went on stage. So that's what I try to live. Dance for me is about connecting with people. You don't have to understand something, but you can feel it. So that, that is what it is for me. You don't have to get it, but you can feel it. I'm Magdalena, this is Yinka, and together with Noemi, we are Dot 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 Dance. Perhaps it's not that known that there is a flamenco scene in the UK. The three of us are British flamenco dancers, and we collaborate a lot with Spanish artists. Um, but we're sort of finding a voice that reflects where we come from. So when we run workshops, we often ask people what flamenco is to them, and people always come up with polka dots, frilly dresses, castanets. Dot, dot, dot is not that at all. But we try to kind of keep the, the energy of flamenco. It's really about how to transmit that in the most honest way. It's a really energetic dance form in the, in the way that you feel all of your body. And there's something about being so connected with live musicians and the other people on stage as well. Uh, it's really, it really does come out of that moment. It's being made right there. I think there's something of a ritual to flamenco as well. <laughs> um, and that really makes each performance unique. And that's kind of scary because always feel like you do not know what's going to happen. Even though you know the choreography, you know da-da-da, you actually go out and every single day it can feel completely different mm -hmm. and your response to everything that's happening around you is different and how you feel in your body. And so it's, it's quite magical and it feels like you're always creating something new that just belongs to that moment. And that's very, that's very real. The piece that we're presenting sampled is called I Come To My Body As A Question. And um, I choreographed this for Dot 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 Dance. It's a piece that involves amazing spoken word artist Tony Stewart. We're joined by Liam, who can probably be called our guitarist, because <laughs> he's worked with us on our other show as well. <laughs> um, so he's a traditional flamenco guitarist. We've got Javi Rivera, who's singing. He's a traditional flamenco singer. And so it's sort of almost like Tony Stewart and Javi have this special relationship where they kind of face each other and communicate one through flamenco singing and the other in English spoken word. So lyrics are important in flamenco. What's being sung is important. And in fact, this piece is very much a kind of facing some of the lyrics that this particular guajira style has and that never sat very comfortably with me. Um, they're quite sort of misogynistic. Um, they're very stereotypical. And so it's a re, re let's call it a revisiting uh, a rethinking of this style, which is nevertheless melodically 
very, very, very beautiful.